But National Treasury is a young institution still, and, and speaking to some of the DDGs at Treasury, it, it feels like there's a lot of growth and a lot of learning and a lot of development that the Treasury still has to undergo going forward. It is, uh, it, there is truth in that, but if you look at the team I have, I mean, the newest of the DDGs, uh, uh, you know, your, your uh, Michael Sachs, your Monale Ratsuma, uh, your Dondo Mohajane, pardon, they, they will pardon me for mentioning them by name, uh, they, they've earned their stripes. They have earned their stripes, uh, not only from where they have been previously, uh, but even within uh, the Treasury. Uh, they have been there, you know, uh, each one of them for collective periods of close to 10 years. Uh, and in that period, they have been close, uh, or shall I say, they have been where the tire uh, hits the ground. So they've, uh, they've done things. Uh, they've navigated very difficult debates on policy issues. Uh, so I, 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 I'm not... Uh, the one to be worried that uh, uh, they, they, you know, uh, uh, th those people w would not be equal to the task. Uh, whether it is one of them uh, who takes over to lead the team, which naturally would be my preference, but I'm not the one to anoint a successor. In fact, I have no part whatsoever in the, in the choice of my successor. Um, uh, if I'm asked for an opinion, I'll give it, but um, uh, I, I must just say uh, there is no doubt that under the right leadership, uh, which the new minister and the deputy minister, uh, I can in these initial stages even say they, they are demonstrating, uh, then if, if, you, if a, a good replacement is found for me, which I think uh, will definitely be the case, uh, because it's, it's obvious even from some of the commentary by the rating agencies that uh, they are very keenly watching uh, what happens in that regard, whether the, the institutional strength of the Treasury will be, will be maintained and reinforced. And, and I think it is in the interest of everyone uh, at the Treasury, the minister, the rest of government, and I dare say the entire country uh, to keep that because it is a strength that enables us as a country to build towards achieving uh, our, our national objectives. And, and have you given any indication of the timeline for that transition to a new DG? Uh, look, in the letter that I, I gave to uh, Minister Gordon before uh, he, 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 he was removed or before he left, whichever is appropriate, uh, I signaled my preference for uh, mid-May, but uh, I do appreciate that, uh, uh, you know, the, there might be a view that that's too short. If that is the case, I'm very open uh, to an alternative date. Uh, a little later. Of course, the rules also provide for the possibility that when someone asks to uh, depart uh, uh, before the end of the contract, as I have, uh, considering everything, the employer might ask for an early departure. Uh, but I don't see that happening. Minister uh, Gigawa has been emphasizing a lot the need for a smooth transition, which I've appreciated a lot. I owe it to him. I owe it to the colleagues that I will be leaving behind. I owe it to government that uh, after the honor that I've had to serve in, in this very important position, I cannot live in a manner that undermines uh, stability, that undermines the transition, that works uh, against uh, uh, maintaining the institutional strength of, of the Treasury. So I will do everything in my power to help with that within the space that I'm allowed.